the Uno Saman with a listening problem. Or are you that Saman who has a listening problem? Poor listening leads to misunderstandings, weaker relationships, even wars. By the way, I want you to know I'm deaf. I don't want you to think I'm doing the world's worst Arnold Schwarzenegger impression ever. <laughs> I'm here to show you how to listen. I know how weird this is. A deaf person giving you listening tips. <laughs> What's next? A blind person giving you decorating advice. <laughs> or Donald Trump giving you hair care tips. <laughs> Do you feel like everything you say goes in one ear and not the other? Or in my case, in one eye and not the other? <laughs> Many years ago, I was set up on a blind date with my future wife, Anne-Marie. She found out I was deaf before our date. So she bought a book called Sign Language for Dummies. <laughs> How great is that? Only problem is, I don't know any sign language. <laughs> Except for the swear words. So, and I did, I explained to Anne Marie, my parents raised me in a hearing world. All I have to do is look at you and read your lips. And by the way, you have the most beautiful lips. <laughs> That connection turned into romance and love. We have a wonderful son together. <laughs> and Anne says, I hear better than anyone she's ever met. <laughs> but you know what? It hasn't always been easy for me. Nobody's life is. I've had my challenges. I've had yours and I've had man. I've had to work so hard to communicate because being black eyed was out of the question. My lowest point was when I was 15 years old. I'm with my best friend Chris. We're in scouts together and people call us the twins because we do everything together, including scouts. I'm the only deaf person in my scout group. We all go on a scout camp together. And in the second night, we're having, we're having a great time. We build the motto of our bonfires. It's so hot that Satan would burn if he stood next to it. <laughs> we're having fun. We're swearing like drunken sailors. <laughs> We're burning winners to a crisp. I'm sitting on a lark with my buddies. They're all talking. And I'm having a really hard time reading their lips, especially in the foul's flickering light. It's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle with no photo. All I don't know is that Chris has got some amazing story about Mr. Brown. By the time he's finished with his story, my buddies are laughing. I miss the punchline. They go, Chris, Chris, what did Mr. Brown say? He goes, never man. Chris, what did Mr. Brown say? Never man. So I go to another one, one of my buddies, Scott. 
what did Mr. Brown say? Not a man. They did not see the hurt in my face, but I really wanted to know what was going on. So I pulled out my flashlight <laughs> so I could read Chris's lips. I could read Chris. What did Mr. Brown say? Chris goes, Mother, I can't see. <laughs> and I wonder why nobody would talk to me for the rest of the night. <laughs> so I retreat back to my tent alone, isolated. I feel like so left out. They were talking, they were laughing. If they saw the pain in my face and in my heart, they would, they would understand better. Have you ever had a bad experience with poor listening? We all pay a big price for poor listening. Conflict, lack of respect, lack of understanding, lack of empathy. I'm amazed that people you can hear do not lose their ears. I may be deaf, but I figured out a way to listen better. And I'm excited to share with you what I learned. It's really simple and involves three steps. Step one is to listen with your full attention. That means be in the moment. Forget what your body is saying, response. Be focused on the person. When you do that, we give them something we are all starved for. Attention. Two is to listen with your eyes. It can be as simple as looking at the person, their body language, how they're moving their arms, their facial expressions. For instance, if I'm driving and somebody down the road goes, ah, ah. <laughs> it's pretty obvious what they're trying to tell me. <laughs> and it's time for me to drive off the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm amazed, I'm amazed at people who do not even look at other people when they're talking. If you give eye contact, and most characters, it's the ultimate form of connection. The third thing you do is listen with your heart. Open your heart to receive what the person has to say. When you do that, you understand where they're coming from, their feelings, their emotions. Sometimes they just want to be understood without you trying to find the right side of things. If someone goes to me, I'm bankrupt. You never say this. At least you don't have to pay taxes. <laughs> and sometimes the words do not match the meaning. The other, the other day, my wife bought a hideous bag. <laughs> Looks like road killer. <laughs> he goes, Stephen. What do you think of my bag? <laughs> She's not asking me for my opinion. <laughs> She's fishing for a compliment.
So through listening in files, listen with your attention, listen with your eyes, listen with your heart. Being deaf, I would be good at this, but I need to practice. The other day, I was losing yet another argument with my wife. <laughs> so I do this. <laughs> she does this. Stephen! Stephen! <laughs> Are you listening? Stephen! Are you listening? So, I need to, so if you listen with your eyes, your heart, and with your attention, you will have stronger relationships. Remember my friend Chris, he ignored me at the camp fell. As we got older, we learned to listen to each other with respect, understanding, and empathy. We reconnected, and he was the best man at my wedding. <laughs> my promise to you is that if you do what I shared with you today, the universe will open up to you in so many possibilities. People will want to hear what we have to say so loud and clear that is Deafening! <laughs>